in addition to our basic graphical environment, we also have Windows managers and desktops. And basically, in order for X to work properly, we have to have a window manager. That's basically going to allow the individual components that are built by X to be modified and utilized by the user. So it's almost a secondary piece or back end, if you will, that works with the X Windows environment. Even though X requires a window manager to work properly, the desktop itself is not a requirement. Now generally we're actually going to use the XINITRC file, which is going to basically control what level we're running the operating system at. We're also going to use various window managers with different Linux operating systems, a couple of which are listed here. We have options such as Sawfish and Blackbox. Now, usually we're going to have a single window manager set up. We're also going to have a desktop environment set up. Now, even though you're going to have your default window manager and default desktop, those can always be changed or additional options can be installed. We mentioned a couple of examples of common desktop environments such as KDE and GNOME. KDE is probably the oldest and is actually pretty easy to use. Whereas GNOME is becoming a little bit more popular because it's more comfortable for people coming over from Microsoft Windows. Now, one really nice thing about these is that usually KDE and GNOME and other desktop environments actually come with tools aside from just coming with a graphical environment. So we might have additional tools such as browsers or any other nice little what we like to call creature features that allow ease of use of the operating system. Most often, your window manager and your desktop are going to work together to provide you with a usable environment that will function well under most circumstances.